Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Adrian, and Nintendo has finally did it. They finally did it. They finally showed off the Nintendo NX. Whatever. Anyways, they finally showed off the Nintendo Switch. And, long story short, it looks awesome. Now, the trailer showed off what the Switch can do, and apparently the, um, the reports about it being a home console and a portable console were completely correct. Because that's, that's exactly what it is. It's a home console that can also be a portable console. And I kind of get a feeling that's what the Wii U was supposed to be like, or that's kind of how they wanted the Wii U to be like. But the thing about the Wii U was that you can only go, what, 25, 30 feet before you um, lose, um, before you lose, lose the signal. While the um, NX, you can go anywhere you want to because the game cartridges, yes, these cartridges now, they're not using discs. The cartridges um, go inside the, the screen controller system thingy. The system itself also can act as a screen because it has a big screen on the system itself. And you have these two controllers. Well, one of the controllers you have, you can break away and you can put it on the side of the system and you take the thing out. And of course, it has a big screen in the middle of the system and you can use it as a, um, you have the controls there, you can just play it portable, which is pretty cool. I know it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to describe it per se, but um, you know I have pictures to show it. <laughs> um, but you also have a regular controller you can use too. Kind of reminds me of a mixture between the PS4 and the um, Xbox um, controller S. The controller S from the original Xbox. I don't know why. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. It's weird. <laughs> But um, you have that, and you can also, with the controls that you break away, the, the, the uh, detachable controller, you also can use it as like little mini, you can use it as a little mini controller. It's kind of weird, but you use it as that, to, and in the trailer, you actually show them playing, uh, what was it, Mario Kart and um, NBA 2K, and um, I want to say Splatoon 2? No, no, there wasn't playing Splatoon like that, but it was like Mario Kart and NBA 2K, and, um, We'll probably do Smash like that too, if they have Smash but well they will have Smash Brothers for it, obviously. And also you can use them as separate controls, like kinda of like the Wii Mode nunchuck a little bit. I don't think it's motion control though, so which yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if it was because the guy was playing Skyrim and he was playing Skyrim on the plane like that and it was pretty cool. And um I don't know, I just want to see Skyrim on a on the Wii or Wii U. I mean, because imagine playing Skyrim on motion controls would have been pretty awesome. But, um, I don't think it was motion control, but still, they have Skyrim on the Nintendo console, which is pretty cool. And you can, it's like broken, well, you can play them like a separate, like a, you can play them separate. The one part of control on one hand, the other part on the other hand, you can play them like that, which is pretty cool. And, um, I don't know, overall, I'm really, really excited about it, you know, and they showed off a new Mario game. Well, the, in the trailer, you see this lady playing a Mario game for it. Kind of looks like a new, kind of looks like Marvel 64 a little bit, which is pretty cool. And, um, what else did they show? Skyrim, of course, NBA 2K, uh, they had Splatoon on there, and it looks really, really good. And, of course, it showed Zelda. That's actually the first thing it showed, Breath of the Wild, so I wasn't really impressed with that, because I've already seen it. Still good in the game, though. I'm excited for it. But, overall, the way you look, I mean, the in the the Switch, for crying out loud, it looks really good. It looks really good. And um, they announced some um, third party publishers for it. You know, they have Capcom, Sega, Bethesda, um, EA, what else do they have? Konami, Bandai Namco, Square Enix, Activision, and From Software. I wonder what From Software is going to do about it, too. Hmm. Maybe Dark Souls 4, Dark Souls 3 on the NX. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, there won't be any more new information about it, unfortunately. And for what we know right now, you can't play your 3DS games or any DS games at all. And your um, Wii U um, disc in there as well. This is strictly NX. Just strictly NX games you can only play in there. As far as like downloadable backwards compatibility, we don't know yet. They didn't say anything. They're not going to announce anything until next year. So this trailer is the only thing we've got. And um, the link to the trailer is down below if you want to take a look at it yourself. If you haven't seen it already. I'm pretty sure you have already, but just in case. 
But overall, I am going to be pre-ordering it. Hopefully it's not too late. And um, I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited for it. I don't know if I'm going to get Breath of the Wild. Well, I probably will get it for it, but... I don't know if I should just get it for the Wii U as well. Maybe just as a collector's thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I really do hope they have some big-time launch um, games. I know Breath of the Wild is going to come out for them, so that's the automatic buy, but... I don't know what else they're going to buy. Maybe Skyrim, since Skyrim is supposed to be coming out on the 28th. You know, the part, I'm sure they'll have the um, the Switch version ready to go at launch as well. And probably a few others, probably Splatoon and others as well. I really hope they have some really good exclusives, though, besides Zelda, of course. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you like this video, be sure to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Y'all take care of yourselves, and y'all be safe.